Jeffrey. I swear, it's a quilt. It's... You have one, too. This is gorgeous. I know. Look at it. Oh, my goodness. Oh, the beautiful pattern. Who would have thought to find something like this up here in the attic? <laughs> Someone was very special to have this sewn for them. Well, it must have been your mom, right? The, oh, my goodness. This is... This is the quilt that her second grade class sewed for her. No way. Yeah, yes. Uh, it has to be. Yeah. Bobby Scott. Oh. Lorraine Jones. Yeah. Yes. Well, look, we got to take it to her. She's in the home. Shoot. It'll mean so much. It'll mean so much. To her. How are you doing today, Mrs. Devlin? Where am I? You're in a nursing home. We're taking care of you here. Why? Well, you just need a little rest. You've had a long life. So we're, we're just taking care of you for a little while. It'd be a lot more enjoyable if you'd let me out of here. I'd like to go dancing. Oh, I think uh, you're not quite up to that right now, Mrs. Devlin. And you're... Joey? I'm Joey, that's right. That's very good. Do you dance? Sometimes. Joey, we could go dancing. <laughs> that's a very nice idea, Mrs. Devlin. So, uh, can I get you anything? Would you like some water? I'd like some bourbon. I'm afraid we don't have that here. Why not? Why don't you try some water? I like water and bourbon. I understand. Life. So, Doctor, well, how, how, how is she progressing? She's progressing poorly. Oh, it must be all the bourbon she drank. Well, when you're 93, it, it could be the bourbon, or it could be the fact that you're going to die at some point. It's, it's hard to tell. But she's lived a really good life. Oh, she has. Um, we found something special for her. Oh. Here, it's in my bag. OK. It's the quilt that her second grade class sewed for her the year that I was born. Isn't That's it? a really big quilt. It's, it's got one square with the signature of every student in the class that year. Oh, yeah. Oh, and you notice how this trail kind of moves in a direction? It looks like it goes into, into, into the future. I think this is a treasure map. A treasure map leading us into the treasure well, future. if you notice, it, there are directions. There are certain continents. There's South America. Jeez! There's Egypt. Doctor! These are children! Well, they in the first square, but yeah! You think that our yeah. grandmother, under cover of uh -huh. her students, built, his mother, I mean, built a treasure map in a quilt? Well, she's 93, right? So that means she was born in the late 1800s. And she is incredibly smart, Harvey. We need to crack this. It's, I mean, it sounds to me as if there were a trail of some kind. Because if you look at the, if you look at the clues... I believe you, I believe you. Let's get her before she dies. Le let's talk to Mom right away. Right away. I want to be involved in this. Just saying. All right, Doctor. All right. Mom, um, back in, in, in second grade, this quilt. Second grade, yes, yes. Was, you weren't so bright. Uh, 
I, I know, I know, but mom, this, this quilt yes. that you had made. Burp. Bourbon. You were very bright, always mm -hmm. very bright. It, this map, it, it's a map. It is a map. It is a map. It's the treasure it's map. A, map. a tr treasure map. And yes. the treasure is? At the end of the map. From what we've seen, it looks like it's in Southeast Asia. No, actually, that's Southeast Fresno. <gasps> well, that makes yeah. it easier. Yeah. Southeast Fresno. Southeast Fresno, that's where I hid the treasure. You got a little more of that. Sure. Okay, Mom, Mommy, Mom, Mom, Mom. All we need is this starting point, and we can take it from there. Northeast Fresno. Northeast Fresno. All right, Mom. Mom. Such a good little girl. <laughs> Susan, is it? The name's Chet. Chet. Well, it's 1937. It is indeed. The world is in chaos. Here's your cocktail, you too? Thank you. It's a bourbon for her. Uh, a bourbon, of course. Yes. I love my bourbon. Cheers. Cheers. Well, chaos is my favorite thing. Yeah. I love chaos. Oh, I could sense that from across the bar. You know, I, I wanted to let you in on something. Because you look like a little bit of chaos to me. Well, I, that's kind of my middle name. You look like your middle name could be chaos. Well, thank you very much. It's actually Jameson, but okay. chaos will work, Susan. Works for me. Oh, that's nice to know. So I've run into a little bit of, we'll call it fortune. Should we call it fortune? We might as well. I mean, fortune. I like men with chaos and fortune. I got that sense. So it's a treasure, we'll call it. A treasure? Oh, yeah. A treasurable treasure? Well, I mean, a as, pleasurable most, treasure? as most treasurable treasures go, this treasure is definitely treasurable. And, and I need a woman. A young, attractive woman who knows how to handle herself. And I got that sense from across the bar that you could handle yourself. I can. And I like men who need women who are young and attractive. Well. And can handle themselves. I need a woman who's young and attractive and can handle herself. You've well, got here we the are, right woman. Harvey, in the depths of southeast Fresno. All right. It's very foresty around here. Quick. It's changed. Look. Look. Through the bushes. Through the That's, bushes. That, that, oh. The landmarks are similar. Things changed. Wait. Let me take the fragment of the quilt that we photocopied and shrank down to a reasonable size. <laughs> yes. Yes. Look. Through the bushes. Through there the trees. Is, there is the well under the mountain. It's in the well. You know, I can't believe what's come over me, Harvey. Just a few days ago, I thought your mother was a sweet woman. I wanted nothing more than to look after her. But this gold, this money, I want it. It's going to set us free. It's going to make us rich. This is going to be our gold mine. Our gold mine. So this is my associate, Ken. Hi. Yes. I'm, I'm a woman who's young and attractive and can handle herself. I think she can handle herself. Can she be trusted? Well, that remains to be seen. That does remain to be seen, but what choice do you have? Here we are in South Africa. South Africa? Yes. I have... When you drugged me, you didn't tell me you were taking me to South Africa. Well, I drugged you. It was not necessarily to tell you the truth, obviously. Obviously. 
I thought we were all set on this. Look, Kim. She doesn't even know where she's going. We, we're being chased by some pretty bad people. We have to hide some gold. Hide gold? I know where to hide it. Where would you hide it? I would hide it in Fresno. Nobody would ever look for riches in Fresno. Fresno? Calif That's a brilliant idea. California? Of course, California. Who would look for riches in Fresno, California? What do you say to yourself? Wake up in the morning and say, I want to be rich. I think I'll go to Fresno. Far from gold country. You know, Kim, lawless she, place. She has a point. Because she's young and attractive and can handle herself. Of course she has a point. It makes me feel good that she's young and attractive and can handle herself. Yeah, we got that part. Yes. All right. It, America is in the grips of depression. Yes. A war is about to start that you and I had a hand in. Yes. Yes. <laughs> the young man named Adolf has taken steps, we'll call it. <laughs> <laughs> well, what should happen if you should be called to war? If what we should be called to, to war, we need to, we need to find, we need to bury that treasure where no one will find it. I but, can do that. And this Fresno, tell me, tell me about this Fresno. It's very dull, very flat, and God forbid somebody from Fresno is watching right now. We need a way to find this treasure. If we get separated, a if you die, you need to tell us where that is. You need to leave us a map. I can do it. Here we are at the well. Lower me down. I'm young and I'm beautiful and I can take care of myself. I'm nearly there. Oh. All right, I've landed. All right. Oh, I see it. Oh, it's got to be gorgeous. It's got to be beautiful. Well, it's a box. It's jeweled. It's beautiful. It's got to be beautiful. It's the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. Oh. We're rich. We're rich beyond our wildest dreams. Well, here we are. Buenos Aires. You drugged me again. Well, we didn't want you fighting. So. I told you I was young and beautiful and could take care of myself. You don't have to keep drugging me to take me to all these exotic and wonderful places. I'm glad you enjoy it. You know, I do. Ken, Ken is pretty adamant about drugging and and That's just the way women. we do things. We do things here. It's part of protocol. Protocol. Understand. Now, this I understand is where protocol. we're going to wait out the war. In Buenos Aires. Yes. Not in Fresno. What? God, what other the gold is in we Fresno. Do we don't want anyone looking for us there. I can wait out the war in Buenos Aires. Ah, well, can you tango? Good. I can tango. Ken Ken can tango pretty well, pretty well too. I love to dance. Oh, excellent. <laughs> I'm keeping the gold. You, you have to share. I'm cutting the rope right now. You. No. Oh, I just want to put it on myself. No. Rings and crowns. It's the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. No. 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 She wasn't kidding about Fresno being dull, huh, Ken? Yeah. Man. I think this is a perfect place to hide the treasure. I think so, too. If things go badly, we can always come back here. That's right. We'll have to give it some time, if you understand. Yes, but she people forget. We'll let her make the quilt. We'll make the quilt, 
We'll leave and come back. All right, we'll always have the quilt. Hey, Mrs. Jones, how's it going? It's good to see you. You lost some weight. Very good job, nicely done. Well, children, I really, this is gorgeous. You've done the quilt exactly to my design and shrunk it. So it's so handy. Yes, you did. I did that square. And I put my name on there. It's Jessica Williamson. Everybody is so happy for you, Miss, Mrs. Devlin. And we're going to miss you next year. Well, I'm going to be fine. You know, I'm going to go to Buenos Aires and dance some more. Oh, oh. I used to spend time there during I the like war. I like to dance. Yeah. So thank you, children. I'm really going to always, always treasure this quilt. Mm. It's been three days I think my husband's gone. He must have gone by now. I think I'll just sit here with my gold. What more do I need? Rings? And pretty shoes? And earrings? I'm the queen! I'm the queen at the bottom of the well! <laughs> Come back to me! Oh. Come back. He's still there? It's not worth it. No matter how much. You're worth more than any gold. You'll have to do better than that, husband. Oh, I am the queen of the well. Oh. I still love you. <clears throat> well, Dr. Saunders, I'm, I'm really worried about, uh, about Mrs. Devlin. Oh, I mean, we can't. I can't yes. raise her uh, her family at all. It's like they've just dropped off the face of the earth. Well, that sounds like you're more concerned about her family than Mrs. Devlin. Well, her con her condition's worsening, and, and True. you know we need to call her family. Well, she drinks a lot of bourbon. I know, I know, and, and it's, she's it's, 93. I know, but you know, I would like her family to be there at the end, and and hmm. I'm afraid that may be coming soon. I. I take no responsibility for her family, but I will take responsibility for Mrs. Devlin, and she's dying. Yes, and Dr. Sanders, I, I heard that there, there was some sort of map or something that they were following. Sorry, I didn't mean to overhear, but I know you were talking to them about it. I did speak with her about a map, her young granddaughter. It was a map of Untold treasure, apparently. I feel as though maybe she was fibbing. Yes, yes. But, but maybe that would give us some clue as to where they are, since they are missing. Well, I think it was her daughter-in-law and her son. Well, they spoke of a quilt and um, photocopying the quilt into something smaller that they could utilize. All right. Well, I think, I think we might be able to find... We... I, all right. I am a doctor. All right. I don't chase treasure. Mom, you have to come with me. You have to come with me. Where's my granddaughter? Andrews? She's so young and attractive and can take care of herself. Yes. <laughs> But she's Andrea. She's in, in South Fresno now, at the bottom of the well. With the gold and the, the jewels. Gold. Yes, and she won't come out. She'll only listen to you. I'll tell you what to do. The girl loves to dance. Play a tango. Play a tango? Play a tango. Play a tango. She's so young and attractive and can take care of herself. So, Play a tango. Play a tango. Play a tango. 
You're so very lovely. Mrs. What? Devlin. Did you get rid of that man, that partner of yours? Ken, Ken is long gone. It's just you and me. But we have all the gold to ourselves. Well, you've hidden the gold in Fresno, and you've somehow made a man. Yes. Yes. And you know what? What? That map. Long gone, you say? Yes. But I loved you. But I loved the gold more. I've been a week now, I think, and I'm not thirsty or hungry or anything. It's almost as though I can just live on this gold. Oh, it's so beautiful. Andrea? Do I hear a voice? Andrea! No. A Just my dreams. I'm... I'm going to play you a tango, Andrea. Oh. Dance with me. Come prance with me, let go of that which has a hold of your soul, dance with me, throw away the gold. Oh, oh, oh. Tired. And what is this? It's dirty down here. This gold is. It's rotten. It used to be so beautiful. And now it's nothing. Ah! Dance with me. Oh, come prance with me. Throw the rope down. Come. Give away the gold. Uh, uh, uh. Take away all the temptation that it holds. Dance with me. Give away the gold. You. Uh, I but can I love tell the you love the gold more than <laughs> blame it on the tango. <coughs> I'm so sorry. The gold will be given away by your youngest <coughs> granddaughter. Given <coughs> away? Thanks everybody, thanks for watching. Um, thanks to uh, David Norfleet on music. David Norfleet. Hey, and, uh, and thanks to Eric. Eric. Or, yeah, thank you. All right. We are the Peninsulators. Thank you. Thank you.